Hello Aries, this is going to be your How Does He or She Feel Monthly reading for November 2017. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Also, if your uh, Venus, which is your love sign, if your Venus is Aries, you may resonate. And also, if you're cross-watching for Aries, you may resonate also. So, I'm going to see what are the most dominant energies, most dominant and relevant energies this month of November for whomever it is that you're inquiring about feelings towards you or for you or of the connection. So let's see. <clears throat> okay. Um, also, if you're interested in this reading personal to get your own personal how to she or uh, he or she feel reading, I will leave the link below to my website on how to purchase this reading with me. clarify it with tarot just to get more in-depth um clarity about each card so starting off free yourself it's time to take back control of your life with the two of pentacles so this person's feelings are more so based off of the physical evidence or the reality of things or how they're perceiving things or how they what their ex oop, their experience is so i feel like their feelings are coming from that place so what they're feeling is um like you need to make a decision whether you're in or you're out okay they might feel like they need to make that decision too whether they're in or they're out with you it's kind of an imbalance um trying to weigh the pros and the cons of if i should move forward or if i should and should i go all in should i not but this is how they feel about you so maybe they feel like you're very fickle and you have not you've yet to make a decision about them or you're holding yourself back and it's causing an imbalance in your connection. So why do they feel this way about you? Getting to know each other. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens with the king of pentacles. Um, so this definitely has something to do with, um, could also be that this person is earth. Or you have Earth in your chart. So it could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But I feel like they're looking at the experiences again. So their feelings are based off of what they're experiencing. They might feel like they put a lot of energy and effort towards getting to know you. And there's this hesitant energy coming from your end. Not totally being free. Not totally being open to embrace the connection or go after it. If it's what you really want. You might be telling them that you want them. Or this is what you desire in relationships. But yet you're not going after it. So they see you as someone who's very imbalanced, uncertain, unsure of themselves. And they're looking at themselves as they're sure and they know what they want. So this woman is on guard. Um, and so is he. But it's kind of like this suspicious energy. So they might be picking up just based upon their interaction with you that you don't really trust them. Or you don't fully trust the situation. So you're in and you're out. It's like one foot in, one foot out. How are they projecting their feelings outwardly towards you? Reconciliation is a someone from your past is returning to your life with the nine of cups. So how they're projecting their feelings outwardly is I feel like they're trying to show you that they want to come back with you or they want things to come together. If there was a separation between you, um, they might, I feel like they might um, feel like you suspect that they maybe were up to no good during this time apart or that there was some sort of deception in the in the past, or it really was, and you don't trust them now. You don't believe that they're a whole person, a whole man or a whole woman. It's like you're looking at this person as untrustworthy. Um, you got your guard up, and so do they. But their feelings, um, how they're showing it to you, is like they're really showing you that they really would like to um, get with you or if they've gotten with you or back with you they're showing you that they enjoy your company or that they're happy to come back together um, why they're choosing to project in this way is unrequited love with the queen of swords so they're choosing to project this energy um, because I feel like they're perceiving like you their love is not mutual or your feelings are not mutual towards them regardless of what you say 
or what you believe. Um, they're trying to show you that there is love here because you might believe that there's nothing here. So you said, so, oh, sorry. So the card says there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I feel like this person is doing a lot to show you that they're interested or that they can be trusted. Um, this guy, there's like the swords, a lot of swords references. You got a guy with his big sword here and they're both this suspicious energy. Got the sword here and she's kind of looking suspicious. She doesn't trust him. Then you got the queen of swords and the seven of swords um, and swords here. So there's a lot of swords references. So it's like this person may have hurt you in the past. They may have stabbed you in the back um, or you just don't trust them. You feel like they're going to hurt you again in some way. So they realize this and they know this. They know. And I feel like they're choosing to show you like I enjoy your company or I really want to get back together or I'm glad we're back together. I'm glad we're talking again or I'm glad, you know, we can renew things or something like that. And you just don't trust them. Okay. You just don't trust them. Um, as far as the trust... <laughs> the trust card comes out is their intentions with the seven of swords and that's a sneaky individual so i feel like they know you see them as someone who's untrustworthy who's deceptive or sneaky and their intentions is really for you to trust them they don't want you to see them like this as a seven of swords as a sneaky um cheating thieving person they don't want you to see them that way they want you to trust them you know they have their guards up too because they got their swords up. So it's like they are, in a way, trying to protect themselves. And so are you. Everybody's trying to protect themselves. But they want to show you that they're trustworthy. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. Um, yeah. So I hope that that resonates with you, Aries. Um, or will be relevant at the time. So much love to you guys as always. Until the next reading, peace.